Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this week's uh, pro tip. Um, and we find ourselves on one of our signature holes, the 12th, a tricky par three. And today I'm going to be talking to you about controlling your ball flight into the wind. Traditionally, this hole sort of plays a little bit into, and therefore maybe a lower ball flight would be what's required. So, if we look at the, the hole here, it's roughly about 140 yards today. So normally I wouldn't select this club for that particular yardage. Processes about trying to keep the ball down and therefore a little bit out of the wind that hence having more control on the golf ball. So, first of all, like most things in golf, the setup is so important and I'm going to do things a little bit differently. So I try and feel like everything's a little bit more compact, that I might just grip down the club a little bit more. I'd also be compact in the form that my feet would be just a little bit narrower and I'm generally just stood a little bit closer to the ball, trying to encourage that control. The ball position is what I put a big focus on to begin with. I try and have the ball further back in my stance than what I normally would. So probably somewhere in this case between a central position and the right heel, probably a sort of a halfway point between the two is what I'd be looking for here. As I do this as well, to encourage to keep the ball down, I might just set my weight distribution a little bit more on this left side. As I can do with that, I feel that my spine angle is changing as well. You can see almost like the zip of my jacket there, which is really sort of getting my chest going this way. And I feel like I'm gonna hit down and keep the ball a lot lower. My feeling in the swing itself is one of compactness really. Maybe a swing of around about three quarters length. And then because of that, the follow through will be a little bit shorter as well. And probably my only thought through the ball is probably with the feeling with my left wrist is that I try and feel like I'm holding the club this way so it's almost like the badge of my glove is sort of holding towards the target rather than the normal rotation. So I'm going to set myself here, hands a little bit further down, ball back, weight forward and I'm ready to go.